Hi there, it's Chris Light, creator of the email waitlist instructions generator. Uh, so, emaildeliveryjedi.com. I'm excited for you to start using whitelist instructions. This is once again, oddly enough, after all these years, whitelist instructions are probably one of the greatest keys to email delivery uh, in 2016 and definitely in 2017. This is a brand new updated page for the new year. Let's get this file saved for you and get you using it as quickly as possible. Three steps here, and they're easy. So we're going to write show. First of all, before we get this code, you, you want to make sure that you've got your brand name properly submitted, that your from name text in your emails is appearing correct, and that you've got your email address right that there wasn't any possible uh, discrepancies when you submitted the form. If you're all good to go, right-click an empty spot on the page, and we're in Google Chrome and on Windows, we're going to select pay View Page Source. And this is going to open the code that creates the page. Everything you need is here. There's no outbound scripts. There's uh, uh, no uh, tracking. There's no personalization at all. This is all built for you to save it quickly yourself. Now, Google Chrome no longer has a select all right click uh, in when viewing code. So we're going to use Control plus A, holding down Control with one finger and then pressing A. This is select all is a keyboard shortcut. And we, you've just selected all this code top to bottom that we've just revealed by viewing source. Now we're going to right click that highlighted text and select copy. Step one is done. Step two. Now we're going to save this as a file. Uh, every computer has a text editor. This is not Word. This is not WordPad. Uh, this is a text only editor that adds no formatting to the text. In Windows that would be Notepad. Mac you have one as well. Now we're going to right-click here and select Paste. And you can see we've pasted all that wonderful code we just generated for you here in this Notepad file. Let's save that and complete Step 2. So we're going to go to File, Save As. Now in Windows, this is going to want to save as a text document here. So to get around this little uh, Windows quirk that has been here since Windows 95, we're going to select all files in this little drop down right here. And now we're ready to name this file. You can see that since I've been here about a million times this week getting this generator built, Windows has gone directly to my email delivery Jedi file folder on my machine. So you're going to want to find a file folder or a place that you can find this file easily. That's completely up to you. Just, just save it somewhere where you can find it. If not, you can just go back through step one and resave it if for some reason you lose it. So now we are going to name this file. Because the name of the file is going to be in the URL after we upload it. So my suggestion is something simple and straightforward like my whitelist. And now we're going to add a file extension to it so that the browser knows this is a web page and it will open it when we go to it on your website in just a moment. So now we're going to add .html. My whitelist .html and having select all files in Windows for no extra file extensions. Now we're going to save that file to somewhere where we can find it. Oh, look, I already created it just a moment ago rehearsing for this video. So it's going to want to replace it because I've already created one. You probably won't see that. All right. Guess what? Step two is done. We're moving on. All these files are saved. You don't need any of this stuff anymore. Let's get over to an easy way to move this file over to your web hosting. We're in GoDaddy in my cPanel. This particular site that uh, uh, I host, emaildeliveryjedi.com, is on GoDaddy. Has been for a long time. It's just a blog site. There's not that much to it. So 
GoDaddy is more than fine for my hosting here. And you're going to find that there is a file manager in any cPanel. And you're going to see that this might be a little bit different here in GoDaddy than you might see in cPanel on your own hosting. But go to cPanel and go to File Manager. Your hosting is going to have a file transfer manager. If you cannot find it on your hosting, give your host a call. They're there to help. So we're going into this file manager. Depending on how yours is set up, it may ask you whether or not you want to go to uh, etc. I'm going to accept the default and go to the web route. The web route it will be where your site is hosted at. And here we are within my file structure for my website. You will see file folders, and you'll see files, .php files, .html files, etc. This is what makes up your website if this is your first time ever, ever seeing this and using something besides uh, WordPress. Very easy. Next step is that we are going to select where we want this page to be. I'm going to want to put it in my top level folder so that I can go to emaildeliveryjedi.com slash mywhitelist.html and easily find the file. If you have problems understanding what you're doing in your file structure on your hosting, in your website, call your host. They're there to guide you through this. It's, it's, it's not very hard. Once you've done it a time or two, any confusion, call your hosting support. Now we're going to click Upload. Just so you saw what I, I, I might have clicked there. Upload in, is, in, is going to be in your top toolbar in your file manager. On the Upload page, let's swing over to the left here a little bit. On the Upload page, it's going to ask you to choose the file. Again, you can see we've opened to my email delivery Jedi file list, my file folder. We're going to scroll down and look for that file that we just created. There it is, mywhitelist.html. This is why we created a unique, uh, a unique name, and we thought about where it was going to be so you can find it. We're going to open that file. You'll see some type of little status bar like this one down here in the bottom right that says, hey, we're all set. Let's go check and make sure that that file is on the server. So we're going to go back to uh, the, the uh, list of files and folders under my domain in, or your domain. And now we're going to click Reload. And we'll see we'll be looking right down here for mywaitlist.html. Click Reload. Just like refreshing a web page. And here we are. MyWaitlist.html. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like when we go to the page. So, again, it's uploaded to the main top-level directory. Just like a set of file folders on your machine. We're going to take a look at the browser here. And we are going to type in... Email delivery Jedi .com slash my white list dot html because I put it in the top level folder and I named the file the file my white list spell it correctly it helps and now we're gonna press enter and there's our file that I just created. So, to recap, quick set of recap instructions. Video's getting a little long, I know you gotta go. Right click, view source. Highlight all text, copy, launch notepad, paste the file, paste the code in there, save the file as a .html file with whatever name you want to call it. 
Then we're going to head over to your hosting. We are going to select uh, upload. You are going to find that file. And you are going to upload it. You will then see it. Right in your list of files by refreshing that file list. And you're going to be able to go to it by typing your .com name slash the file name that you assigned it. Let me know if you have any questions. Of course, this is a brand new update for 2017. Going to be valid well into the new year. I'm excited, as I said, once again for you to be using this. And I'm excited for all for uh, you to be getting greater email delivery by displaying whitelist instructions early on in your funnel. It's been Chris Light.